Hello guys, welcome to this new video. In this video, we're going to be unboxing Apple's biggest and budget device, the iPhone 12 Pro Max in Pacific Blue. Let's get to it. Straight off, let's take the plastic off the box and be done with these reflections. Yeah, that's a lot better. Now let's take a look around the box and see what we have. Of course, you can see the image of that gigantic iPhone there showing that it's in blue. And looking at the side, you can notice that it's in a slim box, especially if you compare it to the iPhone 11 Pro Max box. It's like twice the size. That's crazy. Of course, on both sides, you have iPhone written there. At the top and bottom, you have the Apple logos. Round back is where it gets interesting. As you can see, it includes iPhone 12 Pro Max and USB-C lightning cable, power adapter and headphones sold separately. So now you know why the box is thin. And even more interestingly, this is the actual dual SIM model, which means it uses two physical SIM cards. As you can see, there I have two IMEI numbers that I'm stylishly covering up with my finger. And it is just very similar to my iPhone 11 Pro Max there, as you can see, I have two SIM cards in it. I already made a video about my dual SIM iPhone 11 Pro Max, and I'm going to link that video somewhere up here. Check it out. I'm going to make another dual SIM iPhone 12 Pro Max video, so definitely check that out. Now let's get into the box. Now to why we are here, let's take this off. Wow, that looks nice. That's really nice. That's pacific blue color oh that's sick let's set this aside for a minute and check the other things we have in the box obviously we have that usb-c lightning cable and yeah sim injector to sticker yep that's everything so if you're buying an iphone 12 pro max i'm sure a lot of you already know there's no charger there's no headphones in the box keep your old chargers keep your headphones however i've gone ahead to pick up the new usb-c 20 watt power adapter and the MagSafe charger which is not here yet and that's what i'm going to be using for my beautiful iphone 12 pro max before I power on the device let's take a look at those specs the iPhone 12 Pro Max comes with that brand new A14 Bionic chip, 6 gigs of RAM, a 6.7 inch Super Retina XDR OLED display. Well, that's a mouthful. A battery that is estimated to be around 3687 mAh and lots of other goodies like 5G. Now it's time for the ceremonial removal of the paper in front, not plastic anymore. I'm disappointed. In front of the mic. So this is the iPhone 12 Pro Max, showing my camera up there. I like how it feels in the hand. The sharp edges makes it feel so nice. So, so nice. Whoa. I can see so many fingerprints on it already. It's going to pick up a lot of those, especially this aluminum part. Let's take a quick look around the device. Well, that's the screen, obviously, with that huge notch still. Disappointed it did not reduce. The screen is bigger, so it makes the notch look smaller, but no, that's not the case. It's still as big. On the right side, you can see the power button with that really nice aluminum frame there. It looks really good, but once you touch it, it's fingerprint city. On the left side, you have the mute switch, volume rockers, and of course the sim card tray which is a dual sim card tray two actual physical sims watch out for that video at the bottom you have that lightning connector which looks like a type c port for some reason here also you have your microphone and you have your speakers and absolutely nothing on top but you can see those larger camera modules so i really love the feel in the hand with those new sharp edges it's great it feels like a different phone entirely and i'm digging that however i'm going to put it in the case obviously i'm kind of disappointed apple did not choose to go with the higher refresh rate display at least 90 hertz on the pro versions however this feels really smooth i can say it feels a tad smoother than my iphone 11 pro max but that's just reaching really before we continue the video let's adore that pacific blue color Oh, it's so nice. I'm glad I picked this one. Someone right now is going, I told you so. I told you, pick the blue one. Comparing it to the iPhone 11 Pro Max, as you can see there, the iPhone 12 Pro Max is ever so slightly taller, which looks about the same thing. As for thickness, the iPhone 12 Pro Max is slimmer. However, you can see that bigger camera bump there. 
compared to the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And that's the difference in power button placements. The iPhone 12 Pro Max ever so slightly lower. I guess that's good. So you can reach it a little bit more as it's a bigger phone. But on the device is about the same lightning, speakers and microphone. On the left side, you can see the mute switches, volume rockers. However, the SIM tray has moved to the left on the iPhone 12 Pro Max is on the right here. And you can just see its fingerprint city over here. You need to wipe this thing down like every second or just put it in a case. Eric back again and we're going to do a quick camera test. So anyways guys, that's been the video unboxing and quick review of the iPhone 12 Pro Max in that beautiful Pacific blue color. I'm going to have a lot more content on this device, especially my next video, which is a case video. So definitely subscribe if you don't want to miss that. I'll probably do some speed test comparison with the iPhone 11 Pro Max and you know, camera test with the 11 Pro Max and the Google Pixel 4a. So that's it. If you like this video, definitely smash that thumbs up button. If you loved it and want to see more content like this, please subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.